using mesh analysis find the loop currents i1 and i2 in figure we have to find i1 and i2 in this figure using mesh analysis solution first we will redraw the circuit now we will point higher and lower potential to these resistors so according to the direction of this current this will be positive and this will be negative here this will be positive and this will be negative according to the direction of current i2 this will be positive and this will be negative this will be positive and this will be negative now let's say this is mesh number 1 so we will apply kvl that is kirchhoff voltage law to mesh number 1 so we will start from here let's say so this will be minus 20 then plus 10 i1 then plus 20 now here i1 minus i2 i1 minus i2 then is equal to 0 now we will simplify this so this will be 10 i1 plus 20 i1 minus 20 i2 is equal to plus 20 and this will be 30 i1 minus 20 i2 is equal to 20 let's assume this is equation number 1 now we will apply kvl to mesh number 2 let's say this is mesh number 2 so apply kvl to mesh number 2 so let's say we will start from here so this will be plus 15 i2 15 i2 then plus 15 plus 15 then plus 20 plus 20 in bracket now there are two meshes here so this will be i2 minus i1 i2 minus i1 bracket complete and it is equal to 0 because the mesh is complete so it is equal to 0 now we will simplify this so this will be 15 i2 plus 15 or plus 20 i2 minus 20 i1 is equal to minus 15 now this will be minus 20 i1 first because we will take i1 first then i2 so this will be plus 35 plus 35 i2 is equal to minus 15 let's assume this is equation number 2 now solving equation 1 and 2 so we will get the value of i1 and i2 we can solve this using calculator directly mode then for equation 5 then there are two equa two equations so we will take first so here this will be 30 minus 20 then 20 then equation 2 is minus 20 35 then 15 minus 15 so it is first the value is i1 so i1 is equal to 0.615 615 the unit of current is ampere 
so this is the value for i1 next will be i2 so i2 is equal to minus 0 0.076 minus 0 0.076 the unit of current is again ampere So what we have to find? We have to find using mesh analysis, find the loop currents I1 and I2. So these are the loop currents I1 and I2.